snow. Yuck. I am so tired of this crap. Hey guys, welcome back to Steve Basinger Fishing. I'm so done with the snow, I'm done with the winter. So I thought I'd come back to the boat. I'm here with the boat. Got Trey back there. Trey, say hi. Hi. Oh, he's so excited right now, you can tell. <laughs> uh, he's tired of winter too. Although you still want to go ice fishing, right Trey? Yeah, he still wants to go. Uh, I just want to get the boat back out. So I thought I'd come over, play with my tackle, and uh, maybe do like a real quick video showing you guys my favorite baits from like from this time of year all the way up until, I mean, you, you really start to get fish really pushing shallow. So from now till then. So here we go. All right, so first off, if you guys have watched me fish really at all, you know, I'd much rather fish a moving bait before I have to drag something around. Uh, there's a few reasons for that. I mean, one, that's kind of just my way, but uh, I do that because I want to find the active fish first. Uh, you'll find active fish by, by power fishing, by using moving baits, spinner baits, crank baits, jerk baits, stuff like that. Um, all 12 months out of the year. Well, I mean, as long as your water's not frozen like we have here. But you'll, f you'll find your active fish easier that way. It's much better to do that than it is to drag something that's kind of slow so what i like to start with most of the time is i like starting with a jerk bait and these are both skirmish baits jerk baits um boy i can't remember that color uh this is the aim nine but this is uh boy it's, could be white tail half chrome white tail this is the one i actually start with most of the time though this one is joker this is my favorite color uh, you don't see it around very often. Actually, I haven't seen any other company make this color. Uh, it works great everywhere. If you guys seen any other videos that talk about the jerkbait, this is my favorite one, uh, or this this color. Uh, but I like going for this one, dirty or clean water. I like going for this one first because I think that color just kind of makes them react a little better. Uh, this one is one that's kind of been popular around the uh, the Ozark Ozark area. But it's good in a lot of places. I mean, it looks like a lot of different types of bait fish. So I like going for the jerk bait first. Uh, it stays in the strike zone. I find a lot of times if fish are suspended, which seems to be all the freaking time in the winter, uh, they want to feed up. You know, they're suspended, so if you put it at eye level, which is already hard, uh, they might eat that, but if you can put it a foot or so above them, they'll come up for that. If you put it below them, no sir, they're not going down there. So I like to go with that. I like to find those suspended fish first or kind of the hardest ones to find in that you know, 12 feet or less of water. Um, so yeah, I like going with that. And then still stick with hard baits. Another one I like to go with are these old wart style, wiggle wart style baits. These are also skirmish baits. By the way, I will link all this stuff in the descriptions. Uh, I've got a code for all the skirmish bait stuff to save you some money on those. Oh, I'm dropping them. Um, but anyways, these kind of go against your traditional, what everyone says in the winter. Uh, are great for crankbaits. Everyone says the, the tight wiggles, uh, which they're right. Those are the good ones. But for some reason, these old warts, old wart color, wart style baits, they got a wide wobble and they still kick butt. I don't know why. They just do really good in the winter, especially when you're around any kind of rock. So again, Ozark regions where these really became popular, but they're really good. The, this one is called the Crevice Critter. Uh, I know, you're probably looking at it and being like, well, that's just a wart knockoff. Well, not really. Uh, Skirmish Baits actually had one that is made unique to them. There are some internals that are different to it. It casts a little better than your old wart. It's got a different sound to it as well. Don't quote me on what the sound is. And then obviously these are all, like they all are anymore. They're all custom painted, but uh, really good baits. And uh, you're probably gonna see a theme in these hard baits. I like going with red slash crawfish colors, right? This one isn't particularly red, but you can kind of see some red in there. Uh, I feel like these, I like these the most on uh, when there's been a somewhat of a warming trend and you start hitting up rocky banks. I think those crawfish come out and they kind of just go nuts over this. This one, I can get down to about 10 feet on a long cast on light line, uh, but I really like it, you know, targeting that six to eight foot range. Um, it, it really excels at that. So then another one, this will be the last one of the hard baits. 
is an old lipless bait. This is one, I'm not sure if Skirmish is even making this one anymore, but this is, this is an old Skirmish lipless bait. Um, again, back in a crawfish color, red crawfish color. Uh, it's great around grass. I mean, that's, that's no secret. Everybody knows that. Uh, but it's also good uh, to fish kind of like guys in stupid cold water like they would around here uh, to fish a metal blade bait really slow. Well, I like this for a little bit warmer than that, you know, like your low 40s to mid 40s, stuff like that. I, I like it like that. You can drop it out, let it hit the bottom. And really, you're fishing it back basically like a jig. Maybe you can give it like sharp pops and then follow the slack back down or just like a pull, a slow pull. You can feel the little boom, 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 boom when it goes. One more time, a boom, 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 boom when it goes. And you let it fall back down. It's a very subtle technique, a very subtle movement of the bait. Uh, and a lot of times fish just like to bump a bait in the winter. They'll come up and headbutt it and don't really want to eat it. Well, you get out now you got all these sharp treble hooks or hopefully they're sharp. Uh, this one's not so much. I'm... <laughs> This one's been through battle. I'm kind of missing some hooks on there. Anyways, they come up and bump this. Well, you've got all these treble hooks to kind of snag one in the nose when that happens. So, uh, now uh, we'll move on to... I'm still power fishing, but I'm doing it a little bit more finesse way at this point. So now I like to go to swim baits. Now, this is the time of year that everyone likes an Alabama rig. I'm sure I would like an Alabama rig if I lived in states where I was allowed to fish one. But pretty much since they hit the main scene, I've lived in states where they're illegal. So I have never caught a fish on Alabama rig because I've hardly ever had the opportunity to throw it. Um, but people would fish swim baits on those. Now, in my case, I'm fishing it on a single jig head. Uh, I like to fish it on either when I'm truly finesse swim bait and I like a little, this is a, I believe that's called a darter head if I remember correct. Uh, and then this is a gambler mino, so it's an underspin. I like I like both of those, um, and then these are this is this one is a gambler easy vibes, and this one is the uh, little easy, little easy I believe is what that's called. Um, you know they're both oh, three and a quarter to three and a half or I'm sorry three and a half to three and a quarter inch baits, not real big, or three and three quarters that's what it is three and three quarters, three and a half. The easy vibes it's got a pretty well how would i say it a pretty aggressive tail so it, this is not the one i reach for at first most of the time i feel like it's a little too aggressive for most of your winter days but you know you get that good warming trend and you f feel like they're probably chomping things pretty well you might go for that one but i typically go for this one this one has a much more uh subtle action to it you know um i don't really know what else to compare it to but there are other swim baits out there on the market that are very subtle, not quite as aggressive as this this bad boy. So now, let's uh, let's say you got a fairly decent or a good one, a good a good warming trend come through. Fish have all been deep. Um, you got some good stained water, you know. So you Oklahoma guys, if you're paying attention to this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you got dirty water and a good good warming trend came through. Uh, I like to fish a big, heavy, single Colorado spinnerbait. This is a one-ounce spinnerbait, okay? Uh, now, it, it is versatile. I, I bought this to do one thing, but I found it is still versatile. Um, you can take this heavy bait, and you can go and throw it out deep and slow roll it back, and that's great. It will do that. You can do that in the dead of winter, in clear water, whatever. You can do it wherever you want to do it. Um, but what I bought it specifically to do is for those dirty water cold water lakes in the you know early spring early early spring late winter when it, you're like hey it's still basically winter we're talking like february in the south central part of the country um you can go and throw this on uh rocky well not rocky banks really any bank that's getting a lot of sunshine to it and throw this around the cover and because it's so heavy and it's got this giant blade on there this heavy weight will still keep it down. It won't let it just come up and wake the surface. So you can bring it back at a somewhat decent clip and it's a spinner bait, so it comes through wood pretty well. Um, fish it around dock pilings, what have you. Uh, this will get you some monster bites. Of everything I got here, this is probably your best bet to catch just a utter giant on, the biggest bass of your life. No kidding, this one will catch you a tank. Might not get very many bites on it, but it will, mm hmm It'll keep you coming back, that's for sure. All right, so the last one, 
last one that we're going to get into is jigs. There are there are three jigs that I throw, but for the most part, there are two that I throw in the winter, um, day in and day out. So the first will be a football jig, and that's what I'm casting at. Obviously not wood and not grass. Not a lot of grass in the winter, but not wood, not grass. This is going to be my more rocky kind of kind of deal, right? Nothing special with that. Uh, the one thing that I would say with any of the jigs that I like, but especially uh, this time of year flipping and football jigs, is like this is a silicone skirt. This is what I'd fish most of the year. But this time of year, and I don't have any on me on, my, on any of the other jigs except this one I'm about to show you, uh, what I really like are the round rubber style. This is actually a mop jig that I got right here. I don't really fish this one in the winter, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but it's got the round strands, right? I mean, you, I'm just trying to hold still, and I mean, look how much that thing's moving around, right? So when this thing in the water, when it hits the water, all this round rubber, it just comes up and kind of expands. Any little tiny current that pushes through is just, it's just kind of, I don't know, fluttering like these little spirit fingers are. And it's great for in the winter when you are dragging, and I've turned into how I have to do that. I have to drag something. When you bring that jig through, you bring it through and you hop it and then you let it sit, that little stuff, those, that skirt material is starting to fan out. Whereas the regular sil silicone kind, it tends to just kind of fall down. You know, it may float a little bit, but it tends to just kind of fall down and then your trailer is the only thing showing. The living rubber, it will move. Hey, it's great in the summer too, don't get me wrong, but I think it really, really shines in the winter because it is working for you. You don't have to work that stuff. So, football jig, and then I also like a finesse jig, right? I like one that still has a heavy hook to it though. This one, don't ask me what company this is, I don't remember, uh, but it still has a heavy hook and a good weed, weed guard so I can still fish it through wood. I, because that's going to be a lot of stuff that you're fishing. You know, maybe I'm fishing around docks or something. I mean, a lot of us, it's winter, but that the lakes that we live on doesn't mean the fish pulled out the 50 plus feet of water. You're still fishing a lot of the same area you did in the spring, but the fish are just, you know, they're more lethargic. You're still fishing docks just like you did in the summer or in the fall or what have you. This is still great around that. You can still fish that. Um, you're just not fishing it as fast. Maybe you go down in size, you know, where you're, you were fishing a half in the summer, a half ounce in the summer. Maybe you drop down to a three eighths or a, or a quarter or so. Now for trailers for those jigs, I go with two types for the most part. Uh, these are both gambler trailers. Uh, this is a, just a, a double tail grub. Uh, and then this one is a uh, gambler flappy daddy, right? So you don't have a ton of stuff going on with these trailers. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos of me flipping docks in the summer, I'm still using this one a lot. This It's just a very versatile, versatile trailer. It comes in and out of cover really well, so it's probably why I like it in the summer too. But um, it doesn't have a ton of really just kick like crazy action to it. Um, and the same thing with this one. Like, these ones aren't going to... Oh, I'm sorry. These little grub legs they're not going to thump coming through the water really just any little kick or bump you give to the bait they just kind of twirl a little bit if you've ever seen a sickle tail or a ribbon tail worm if you've stuck it in just a couple inches of water and seen what it looks like when you move it through you don't got to give it a whole lot of movement and that tail will just it'll turn well these are the same way you don't give it a whole lot and they they will move on you so that's pretty much it guys um I'd like, drop any comments down below. What, what are your favorite baits to throw this time of year? Uh, I'm always looking to learn some new stuff. Uh, sadly, I live in the part of the country where we get frozen lakes for a while. So uh, by the time our water comes off, we've got about this much uh, like dead of winter fishing. And then it's straight into pre-spawn. And then, man, the spawn is here like immediately. Some of you guys already have the spawn where you're at. You, I'm so jealous of you guys. I don't really like you that much. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, see you guys on the water.